Hello, this video will be over a Kivi walkthrough of how to install Kivi on Mac OS and making sure that it is working. In this tutorial, we will clone a Kivi GitHub repository that I have created and make sure that it works on Mac OS before later testing it on a simulated iOS device. And when we test it on a simulated iOS device, that will be the next video, so it will not be in this video. So if you're looking for that video, just skip on to the next one. So getting started, the first thing we're going to need to do is install Homebrew. And where I'm getting this information is straight from the kivi.org. It's in the documentations for the installations of on OS X. So if we click on Homebrew, and we're just going to copy this right here under install homebrew so I just hit the copy button and we're going to open up terminal we're going to paste that in hit enter it's going to ask you for your password and then it will you'll have to click return or enter and this may take a moment but usually it doesn't take too long it's already finished and the next thing I want to do is I want to go back to our documentation. We're going to scroll down. And since we're using Homebrew, we're going to have to install these de dependencies. So we're just going to copy this, go back to our terminal, paste that in, and hit return or enter. This usually doesn't take too long as well. The next thing that we're going to do once this gets finished is I want to install the latest version of Python, which is currently Python 3.9.5. And this should be done any moment now. I guess it takes a little bit longer than what I thought, but it it usually goes fairly, fairly quickly. For you, it may take longer. It just depends on your device, what you're running it on. If you're running it on older hardware or newer hardware, the, the time may vary. The steps that are used in this tutorial will also be listed below the video. So if you wanted to check that out as we go along and just follow along, or if you wanted to just pause the video and just knock out all the steps by yourself, you could do that too. This video is mainly meant for someone that's new to Kivi, has never used it, or just we're just having issues or trouble going through the steps and setup process. There's a lot of great videos out there that can help, but a lot of them do not take the time to go through all the steps. And um, sometimes I find that it's just the little things that you have issues with. Okay, so it's uh, it's finished installing those de dependencies. Now to install Python 3.9, I'm gonna use brew install Python, and we're use we're gonna use the at 3.9. Now this installs the latest version of 3.9, which is 3.9.5. I'm just gonna hit enter. So it looks like. It's already installed and up to date. Okay, well, that's great. I guess it already installed it when we installed those de dependencies or it installed when we installed Homebrew. So I'm just gonna exit out of my terminal and go down here and we're gonna quit the terminal and reopen the terminal back up. And to make sure that Python 3.5, 3.9.5, sorry, is installed, we're gonna do dash dash version. And you can see we are running Python 3.9.5. And we're going to leave this terminal open. 
And the next thing that we're going to do is you're going to need to install Xcode. And they have it right here in the installation for Kivi. And you just copy and paste that in. Now, I already have Xcode installed. You can hit enter. It'll install. Or if you want to go through more of a GUI version of installing Xcode, you just go to the App Store, type in Xcode, and hit install, which I already have it installed. So pause the video, install Xcode. That will take a, a little while. I know it took a little while for me. The next thing that you need to do is come over to Finder. And I'm actually going to remove this from my sidebar. You will. Some people may already have that there, but I'm going to show you what that is. And that's your home directory for the, the user that you're logged into. So we go up to Go. And we click on Home. Now this is your home directory for your user that you currently have. And I want to pin this over in my favorites. So that way in the future it's, it's easier and quicker to get to. It doesn't save a whole lot of time. It's more of a convenience thing. Now the next thing we need to do when you're under your home directory folder, we're going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call mine YouTube. And you can see we have that there. I'm just going to minimize this. And we're going to go back to our terminal. So once you're back at your terminal, we're wanting to go to that new folder. So if we type ls, which means list, so we can see everything that's listed in our home directory. And we see our new folder is created, which mine is YouTube. So we're going to change directory, which is CD YouTube. And now we're in our YouTube's directory. Now the GitHub repository that I'm going to use is one that I've made. And that will also be down in down below this video. And you're, you're just going to want to copy this link. Go back to your terminal and use the command that I'm about to use, git clone, and paste that in and hit enter. Now what that does is it clones that directory. It creates a folder, clones it to that folder, and um, it will be saved under the folder that you had created. So if we open up Finder again, just to show you real quick, you have a new folder, tech news, there's a readme, and then there's an app folder which holds the, the main.py and the main.kv file, which is the, the files that you'll be working with later on. Now we, we're back in our terminal, and we want to change directories into our new folder that we just cloned. So we're going to do cd, or here, we'll, we'll list ls. And you can see it's tech news. So we're going to do cd tech. If you start to type the name of a directory out and you just hit the tab key, then it will automatically fill in the rest of uh, what you're going to type. And you just hit enter. It's just a convenience feature that I, I enjoy and it saves me a little bit of time. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a virtual environment. So to do that, we're going to use Python 3-m vnv. And then I want to name my virtual environments folder env for environment. And we'll just hit enter. And it's completed. So ls. And we can see our environments folder has been created with the name of env. Now we need to activate this virtual environment. So we're going to do dot space env forward slash bin forward slash activate hit enter now to know that it's been activated you'll see env over here whoops env over here well i can't click on it env over here on the side now we well the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to actually want to change into this app directory so we're going to go cd app and now you can see that we're in our apps directory. We can list what's in there. 
we have our main.kv file and our main.py file. And let's just try to run run those run, run the main.py file. Whoops, typo. So we have not imported Kivi just yet and I clicked out of it. So to import Im, import, excuse me, to import Kivi, we're going to need to run or use pip install Kivi and it quickly installs Kivi. That may take longer for you. Um, and it's suggesting that I upgrade my pip version, which I'm not going to do. But if I wanted to, I would just copy this. I guess I could go ahead and do that real quick. Copy that, paste it, hit enter. And it upgrades pip. Pip is a package manager. And that's what you're using to install Kivi. And let's try running that now. So I'm, I'm just going to use Python 3. And we're going to select our file, main.py, hit enter. Okay, so it's showing that we do not have another module named BS4. And I know what that's short for, it's Beautiful Soup 4, which uses web scraping. So we're going to run a pip again, pip install BS4. Okay, so let's try running python3 main.py and we're going to try to run the app again and it looks like it it finished or it completed successfully. So it says refresh for news. So we're just going to hit this refresh button. And what this is, it grabs the latest news article from loopingcomputer.com. Loopingcomputer.com is a great website for tech news and, and whatnot and I just chose that just for this little project and it shows what the headline is and it shows what the headline text kind of like a short short thing about this headline and this information was pulled live from bleepingcomputer.com and so if you came back an hour or two later and they had put a new article up this grabs the latest article so if I hit refresh again it it, it grabbed, grabbed the same uh, information but nothing changed so and after we're doing that um, it, it looks like everything worked correctly you can scroll up and down um, if this was a longer you can readjust the window and you can scroll up and down so everything works fine for our Kivi app that we've just cloned and we've installed the modules for and we've got it running and so if you found this helpful at all or you enjoyed the content, just hit the like button, subscribe. And if you want to find out how to run this app right here on your on a simulated iOS device on your Mac OS, look for the next video right after this one. Thank you.